morning. It's the first day of work for both of us. <laughs> My vacation is over. You're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. So we haven't got our keys to our apartment yet. We've been staying at Kevin and Michelle's house. So now I have a pretty fat commute to work and I don't have a car. I have to get there first, so I'm driving us to my work and then Kenna will drive to her work. So sorry Kenna that you have to be in the car for so long this morning. All right, see you guys there. Update, we're at QFC in Bellevue. Uh, Kenna got Starbucks for breakfast. I got some water from a Hydro Flask and we got Kenna's carpool toll road kit thingamabob so she can take the toll road going to her work. And she's just setting that up right now and then she's gonna drop me off and then I'm gonna be working. So I'll talk to you guys later. Just get ready for work, 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 work. It's a me, I be work, 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 work. Denied? You're denying my claim? I don't understand. I have full coverage. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hoganson, but our liability is spelled out in paragraph 17. It states I clearly. I pay for this. Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. Hey, what up guys? Uh, I just got out of my first day of work. I'm chilling at Bellevue Park, uh, waiting for Kenna to pick me up. She gets off and I'm just eating my leftover lunch. Um, first day was pretty chill. Everyone that I interacted with was super cool. Uh, a lot of the people on my team, at least the people I met, are all like former Microsoft employees that just like got out to go do something else. So it's a little intimidating, but I think I got it. So there's actually a few things I want to touch on later. Uh, like with my experience, like there was a mishap that didn't really instill too much confidence in me, but there was an issue where the team I interviewed for isn't actually the team that I'm working on. And it's cool that they placed me on another team and everything, but just kind of like how it transpired and there was no real notice to me between all of it kind of like rubbed me the wrong way but not much we can do about it just gotta make the best of it so we'll see what happens yeah yeah on a cold summer eve far north in the east Lead life while we follow to the fullest I see why all the streets are full of bullets But I ain't sweating what we do Human nature seems so damn predictable No, I just wanna give you what you need So baby, won't you wipe me to sleep, yeah So then you take my hand and then we roll on out And then you understand, yeah I ride around, baby girl, by my side And the time's not so open up your mind reason, baby girl she will come and chill with me Hope you believe in what I'm saying, girl I hope you hear me when I speak I'll try really hard not to have RBF <laughs> What up, homies? So, mid first week update I hate my life. Hey. I hate commuting. So we haven't got the keys to our apartment yet. And so basically I've been driving Kenna's car with Kenna to my work in Bellevue. And then from there she drives to her work and it takes us 45 minutes to get to my work. And how long would you say to get to your work? 40. Another 40 minutes. So like 85 minutes for Kenna. My poor car. And then after work, Kenna would drive over to Bellevue to pick me up. Well, we've done it three different ways on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's true. Okay, so Monday, Kenna left her work and then picked me up in Bellevue and then we drove back to Kevin's. And how long did it take you to get to me on Monday? 25. 
So it was like 25 and then it was actually like 40 minutes maybe to get back to Kevin's on Monday. And then Tuesday, Maddie just picked me up from Bellevue. And then today, I took the bus from Bellevue over to UW, where I walked over to link up with Kenna and then rode back with her. So she didn't have to drive to Bellevue. And elapsed least... time is 44 minutes and we have still 10 minutes to go. Yeah. But that was you leaving work to go meet up with me. Yeah, and but then... I would have passed that anyways. Oh, okay. Right? I, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Seattle. So, it's been a struggle out here. Like, Monday and Tuesday, I passed our apartment after like five minutes from leaving work. And then I had to sit in the car for 40 more minutes. It's like such torture. Um, in regards to work, they told me pretty much the first two or three weeks would just be training and orientation. So I haven't really done too much. I've just been doing a lot of uh, video training and stuff and like HR onboarding paperwork. So it's been chill, I'm like not stressed at work or anything. It's rained twice this week in the middle of July. That's new for us. However, it's also been 80 degrees. That is very true. So, again, both sides of the spectrum. So, gonna figure out dinner and I'll give you guys another update at the end of the week. Peace. I'm done with all these fucking politics. I'm done with lying to myself. But life is good, at least a lot of it I got a story, can you tell? I shoot the summer breeze with baby girl Still thinking that I think too much But think you're part of the equation, girl You know I see you as a plus Yeah, we get high, come down Long as we don't look around in this cutthroat world Who gonna win the biggest crook around? Damn, but see the ego wears a crooked crown Ain't competing with my fam, just send my latest hook around I'm still alright, where do we go from here, wherever we decide, yeah And we still alright, where do we go from Yo, we just finished our first week of Washington work And we're celebrating by me getting ice cream Cause Kenna snacked too hard at work So they just opened a Molly Moons in Bellevue And now me and Kenna are hanging out at the park while traffic dies down a little bit. So my camera's about to die because I didn't swap the battery. How's the ice cream? Delicious. From here, wherever we decide, yeah. So then you take my hand and then we roll on out and then you understand, yeah. I ride around, baby girl, by my side. And the time's not so open I up your mind. Reason, baby girl. So my company hooked me up with some swag. I just wanted to show you guys what I got real quick. This backpack has some stuff in it, and then this box. Inside the backpack we have a kind of like lunch bag, a reusable water bottle, a sick notebook, and some gummies. And then in the box, a nice card, welcome, mug, some coffee and chocolate. Hey, so I couldn't find the clip where I closed up this video, so I'm just gonna record it again. After the first week of work, I don't know, I got this feeling of being like, like inadequate and I keep comparing myself. Like, I think I just have a thing where I'm consistently comparing myself to those around me or like just my peers or whatever. And just knowing that everyone I'm working with has done so much and I feel like I haven't really done anything. It has me feeling like I should have done more by now. Does that kind of make sense? I feel like everyone's just so smart and I don't fit because I feel like I'm not at their level, but uh, just gonna try my best and make all the improvements I can and just get better little by little every day. 
So hopefully I get to their level. So I just know there's a lot of work that I've got to put in and hopefully I get there eventually. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.